Welcome back, everybody. So business leaders coming together to try to make our community better. The San Diego that we all know and love. Well, the Cause Conference is returning later on this month. So joining us now, we have Grant Oliphant, CEO of the Conrad Prebus Foundation. Good to see you. And then Larry also joining us from the Better Business Bureau. Good to have you as well. Thank you, Netta. Okay, so the Cause Conference, let's talk about that. What is it exactly? We'll start with you. Well, it's, an, uh, it's a, a bringing together of some of the best uh, folks working on issues in San Diego. Okay. We're living in this time where there are really big things happening in our society and our world. Mm -hmm. Larry and I and everybody involved in the CAUSE Conference want the best of San Diego working on solving these issues together, and that's what the CAUSE Conference is about. And we know we have so many brilliant minds here in town and right. really great businesses and nonprofits. Correct. So who are you hoping shows up for this? Well, the target market is any business leader. Okay. And to me, a business, whether they're tax advantaged or not, so we have this sector that we call the nonprofit sector, but mm -hmm. they're basically tax advantaged corporations. They don't pay taxes the same way that a for profit does. But we want university leaders, we want government leaders, business leaders that are either nonprofit or for profit all coming together. We have student tickets as well, so we have just a handful of those left. And we want to bring together people that care about business as a force for good. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at making a difference in the world, using your business to do it, that's what the Cause Conference is about, connecting with others that feel the same way. Right. I know you think of business owners as, oh, I got to meet the bottom line, make money so I can succeed and pay my employees. Sure. But there's more to that. And we see that all the time here in San Diego because we have so many great business owners who care about where we live. <laughs> right? Well, that's, and that's increasingly mm -hmm. the case. It's yeah. what employers are looking for, but it's also what employees are looking for. Right. Business owners, I think, are beginning to realize that if they want to be successful, part of that equation is going to be that they attract customers and employees who care about causes. Mm -hmm. See, that's important that you mention that, because I think for employees, as they're kind of reevaluating, what do I want to do next? What job do I want to have? Right. You want to feel good at the end of the day about the work that you're doing, right? I mean, I think that's another challenge, yeah. probably, for business owners to also think about that on top of everything else. <laughs> no question. And, and yeah. with the Better Business Bureau, I mean, one of the intentions of the Better Business Bureau, the new CEO who took over back in 2018, is trying to make San Diego, the center, the BBB, the Center for Ethical Business. Okay. And ethical business means being part of your community. Mm -hmm. It's not just about bottom line. And as Grant said, we have a panel totally focused on the next generation. So if you want to recruit the next generation, you need to tell them a story that's impactful for them of things that they care about. I have a 22-year-old and a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. My 22-year-old's like, Daddy, I'm not taking a job just to take a job. Right. It has to have meaning for me or it has to be in a company that has amazing culture. I'm not just going to work. Mm -hmm. And she's not alone. There's a lot of young people like that that want a place to feel like they're, they're there for a reason. Right. And I can only money. imagine as that spreads further and further, it you know, forces employers to have to think that way too. How much more good will do, right, That's for right. San Diego? I mean, you know, know that all too well here, the benefits of putting you know, our community first, right? right. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been here all of six months. Okay, so I'm okay. definitely <laughs> the new guy. But, they, but the, my sense of San Diego is that I'm in awe of the, of the spirit here mm -hmm. and the innovation, talent, and entrepreneurism that exists in this community. But we need to harness that on behalf of solving social problems mm -hmm. because the world needs us. And I think San Diego actually can be an example to the rest of the country and to the rest of the world for how to solve problems well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what many of our young people and many of our, our uh, employees are looking for, mm -hmm. is a, a place in solving social problems. Right. I mean, you look at so many businesses who make a stand on certain things that they're morally connected right. with. That's happening in our news all the time. And then they're also taking their voice to that next level. Uh, so we're seeing that a lot. I am proud to say, by the way, our general manager is one of your panelists. Yes. Uh, and then also yes. Carlo Chiquetto will be the MC, yeah, which correct. is great uh, yeah. that our station is involved too. I know yeah. it's a big honor for us to be there. Yeah, well, thank you for doing it. It's really important for all of us. I mean, we really do need all of us at this point mm -hmm. in our history. And uh, yeah, so we're very grateful. Great. And uh, so, okay, it's September 15th. 15th. We want to point that All out day. for everyone who's watching right now. Uh, where and what time? It's at USD. Okay. Starting at 8 a.m. It'll start pretty much 8 a.m. sharp, so be there early. Okay. Um, the day is filled with lots of amazing speakers, uh, the folks from the BBB and the San Diego Business Journal who are the host of the event. Uh, we've got some amazing partners, Semper being our lead partner for the event. 
Uh, we've got Gary Ridge from WD40 speaking along with Sandra Pelletier. Mm -hmm. And then late in the afternoon, Dan Shea just agreed to speak, who is one of the founders of Lucky Duck Foundation. Okay, yeah. Who's been a big influencer in social right. change in San Diego. Yeah, so. we've covered them a lot. They do a yes. lot of good work here. Uh, so, okay, so anyone that's watching right now, yep. any type of business, right? Correct. Welcome to come. Any type of nonprofit. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and just go okay. to causesandiego.org. That's the website. Okay. And there's lots of information there about the agenda, what the day will look like, Perfect. as well as ways to connect with us as an organization. All right, we appreciate yeah. your time. Oh, Thank we, you for being here. We appreciate yours. Yeah, we're yeah, glad to have so you. And Thank we'll you be know. right back after this quick break with a check of your headlines.